Hi, I'm Emily from Rev Robotics, and today we're going to troubleshoot connecting a control hub to a computer um, via Wi-Fi. If you have any issues with this process, we're going to cover all of these in this video. The first thing we want to do for before we connect our control hub to our laptop is we want to make sure that our status LED is green. If your status LED is solid blue, that is another step of troubleshooting issues. Visit docs.revrobotics.com for more information on how to troubleshoot a control hub with a status LED that is solid blue. Ours is green, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come over to our computer and try to connect to our control hub. So we come to our computer, we're going to scroll down to look at the list of available Wi-Fi networks. And we're looking for a Wi-Fi network called Rev Demo because that's what our SSID on our control hub is named. So if I scroll up and down, I don't see Rev Demo. This could mean that we need to change our Wi-Fi band because the Control Hub is a dual band capable device and our laptop might not be. So we want to try to change our Control Hub. To do this, we're going to come over to our Control Hub and press this button right below our status LED. We're going to press and hold until it flashes yellow, which means we switch from 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. Let's go back to our computer. And we're going to try again to see if our Wi-Fi network is available. And we see that we have Rev Demo here now. Um, if you do not see your network still, try going down and uh, turning airplane mode on and off. This will refresh the available Wi-Fi networks. Now let's try to log into Rev Demo. So we're going to hit connect. And then we're going to type in our network security key and hit next. The network security key isn't correct is the error that just popped up, which means that we have the wrong password. If you have the wrong password or you can't remember your password, you need to do a Wi-Fi reset. So let's go ahead and try to do one of those. So we come over to the control hub. We're going to take away power. We're going to press and hold this button under the status LED. We're going to plug power back in. And then we're going to continue to hold this button until the status LED flashes a multitude of colors. Right now it's solid blue, we're waiting for a multitude. This can take up to a minute, so be patient. Okay, now that it flashes the colors, we're gonna remove our finger, and once it turns back to solid green, we have completed the Wi-Fi reset. So once again, let's go back to our computer and go back to our list of available Wi-Fi networks. And now this FTC9VKM is the network factory re default for our Rev Demo Control Hub. So we're gonna connect to it. We're gonna enter the default network security key, which is password. Then we're gonna select next, and we're gonna select no. And then we're gonna wait for our laptop and control hub to confirm that they're connected to each other. Okay, now that we're connected and good to go, the next thing we want to do is try to access our robot controller console. So we're going to open a browser and then we're going to enter the control hub IP address for the robot controller console, which is this 192.168.43.1. And then that'll take us to our robot controller console and from there we can access the blocks interface, the onbot Java interface and manage our control hub. All right, that's going to be everything for connecting the control hub to the laptop and how to troubleshoot it. If you continue to have issues after going through this video, you can find out more information on what could be causing your control hub and laptop to not communicate at docs.revrobotics.com. Other than that, have a great season and don't forget to like and subscribe.